task, I think, for Team Boo. And um, so, if you want to know who the other members are and who the owner is, um, their links will be in the description box, so check them out. So, today what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to make a cover online, and um, we're going to be using Pick Monkey, and I'll show you what the cover looks like. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's just some Bieber cover. Um, you can use this as a Facebook cover or whatever you want to. And yeah, um, it took me like two minutes to make this. It was really easy and I'm going to show you guys how to make it today. And um, basically, I just got a random photo shoot. So if you want the photo shoot, you can just ask me and I'll give you the link. Um, I didn't use much resources because the editor like provided a lot of tools anyway. So you don't need much in the pack anyway. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you something similar. I might not be able to do it exactly, but it will definitely be something similar. Okay, so uh, first you have to go on to PigMonkey, pigmonkey.com, and I'll leave that in the description box if you're unsure. So basically you just click create a collage. Okay, so um, here it will say layouts, and you're going to click ducks in a row, and you're going to click this. So it's the one with three boxes, so you're going to be using that one. Okay, so now we're going to import our pictures. So, if you want, you can import pictures that are like from the same photo shoot. In my opinion, I would, but you don't have to. So, just three pictures you need. So, all you really do is drop them. And you can move them around if you want. You can swap them around, whatever you want to do. So, basically, I'm just dragging them in the places I had them. Okay, so now you're going to go to background. You're going to go to space and you're just going to make it zero. You can, there's no point of changing that if you change it to zero. But basically, the spacing is the space of it. You could do that, you could do that, you could do that if you really want to. But I'm going to keep it at zero. So, basically, you're going to click add now. Open an editor. Okay, um, so what I did first was I went to the effects, I clicked Orton, I think that's how you pronounce it, I didn't really change that around, I just clicked apply, I went to cross process, I clicked blue, and I had it around, like, six, I think, thirty percent. Okay, so then I went to overlays. I went to space and I clicked the first effect and I clicked um, what did I click? I didn't click that anyway. I'm just looking at whatever looks best. Screen. I think I clicked screen. Alright, so then I clicked original and the brush size like 65 and I just colored in Justin just to give the picture more of an effect. But you don't have to do it if you don't want to or you can click a different overlay and just showing what I did. Okay, so now I have the last one to do, and we're nearly finished, so it really doesn't take that long. And there we go, we're finished doing that. So you're going to click apply, and then you're going to go to text, and um, I use Geo sounds light in a second. Okay, then I clicked add text. Okay, so it says type your text here and just put your name. Uh, you can if you're using if you're using Discover Facebook, 
and you can put your Facebook thing, but I don't have a Facebook, so I'm just putting it in what you do. So you have to highlight it, and then you can make it as big as you want, okay? Then what you do is you spread it out, just in case the same thing happens to you. Okay, um, I used white. And I clicked difference. Not till I got that cool effect. And I think I made it a bit bigger. I also used italic. Um, so that's basically what I did. Then I clicked save. You save as PNG because that's the best. Best quality. Whenever it wants to load. Save to my computer. JB cover, whatever you want to call it. And it should maybe look like something like this if you did it like me. So yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. And if you found it helpful, thumbs up this video. Make sure to subscribe to all my team members in the description box on the owner. And I'll see you guys in another tutorial soon. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And yeah, bye.